Welcome everybody. In this session, I am going to explain you conversion of JK flip-flop into D flip-flop. And we will try to understand this conversion process practically with the help of Tinkercad. D flip-flop can easily implemented using JK flip-flop just by adding inverter. So if we have JK flip-flop and if we want to convert JK flip-flop into D flip-flop, you must put one inverter between input J and K. So if we put one inverter between input J and K, then resultant circuit is going to act as D flip-flop. So already I have prepared one separate video on flip-flop conversion process. So it's my request that before uh, going uh, through this particular video, before understanding conversion of JK flip-flop to D flip-flop practically, first of all, you try to understand how we can convert one flip-flop into other type of flip-flop theoretically. So for that, you can watch my video on flip-flop conversion. Now let's see IC required for conversion of JK flip-flop into D flip-flop. So already we have seen how we can convert JK flip-flop into D flip-flop. So in order to implement this circuit, can you tell me which IC will be required? Yes, we will require two IC. Out of that two IC, first IC should contain JK flip-flop and second IC should contain NOT gate. So which are that two IC? Yes, first IC is 7473. Already I have prepared one video on 7473. So you just watch that video in order to understand 7473. And second IC that we will require here is 7404 so 7473 ic contain two jk flip flop and 7404 ic contain total six not gate so by using these two ic we will try to implement this circuit now let's uh, try to make connections for these two ic so that resultant circuit will act as d flip flop so for making that connection uh, first of all observe this circuit diagram so in this circuit diagram tell me how many inputs are there yes so in this circuit Yes, in this circuit diagram, there is only one input and that input is D. So here I will show that D input. Okay, so let's assume that this is D input. Now see this circuit diagram. This D input is connected to J input of JK flip flop. Okay, so now what I will do, I will connect this D input to J input of JK flip flop. So here we have JK flip flop in 7473. How many JK flip flop? Two JK flip flop, flip flop one and flip flop two. So now let's use this flip flop 1. Suppose I don't want to use this flip flop 2. So this D input should be connected to J input of this flip flop 1. So where we have uh, J input of this flip flop 1. So see this pin number 14 will act as J input for flip flop 1. So what I will do, I will connect this D to pin number 14 of 7473. In other words, I can say that I have connected D to J input of flip flop 1. Then what about K? So K is getting output of this NOT gate. Okay. Now what is input to this NOT gate? Input to this NOT gate is D. So what I will do now, I will connect this D to input of one of the NOT gate. So where we have NOT gate, we have NOT gate in 7404, total six NOT gate out of the six NOT gate. Let's use this first NOT gate. So here what I should do, I should connect this D to pin number one. In other words, I can say that I have connected this uh, input D to input of this first NOT gate present in 7404. Then what about output of that NOT gate? Yes, so output of that NOT gate, it should be connected to K input of JK flip-flop. So where we have a K input of this flip-flop one. So this pin number mm -hmm. three, pin number three is acting as K input of this flip-flop one. So see what I will do. I will connect this pin number two to pin number 3 of 7473. In other words, I can say that uh, I have connected this pin number 2 that is output of NOT gate to K input of flip-flop 1. So these two connections are over. Now let's try to make other connection. So pin number 1. So pin number 1. By using pin number 1, what we can do? We can provide clock pulse to flip-flop 1. So this pin number 1 should be connected to clock source. Then pin number two is a clear input. So we know that a clear input is uh, active low input. If you if we don't want to use it, then it should be connected to logic one. So I will connect it to VCC. Then pin number four, it should be connected to VCC. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this pin they correspond to flip flop two. So as I am not using flip flop two, so I will not make any connection for this pin starting from uh, pin number five to pin number ten. Then pin number eleven, it should be connected to ground. Then pin number 12, what is the use of pin number 12? It is Q, that is output of this flip flop 1. So this pin number 12, it should be connected to output. Then what about pin number 13? Uh, it is a Q, a Q1 prime, 
that is inverted output so here i don't want to use this inverted output now i can say that connection for 7473 are over then what about this uh, 7404 so already we have uh, made uh, two connections for this 7404 so whether any connections are remaining yes so this pin number 14 it should be connected to vcc and pin number 7 it should be connected to ground after that i can say that now my circuit is ready and this circuit is going to act as d flip flop